in the countries that I uh, live in, uh, Britain, India, and several other countries, every time a new government comes into power, the first things they do before coming into power is to say, we will transform education, <coughs> particularly elementary education. And in <coughs> all the cases that I can think of, it's the last thing they do. As soon as they get into power, they, they think about, you know, other stuff. We'll, we'll, you know, I don't know, we'll build a bridge, or, you know, do stuff like that. Uh, what happened to the education thing? Oh, they give them some money, you know. Uh, so they did that, both in Britain and India quite recently. Let's give, give them a billion, okay, that's it. I told you I would transform education, I gave you a billion. Now go on with it, go home. Okay. <laughs> That's about it. Why? Uh, it's not because governments are, are evil or wicked or anything like that, but because maybe education exists but isn't there. Maybe that's what the problem is. So, in which case, we are in a very strange profession, all of us. Whether, we are, whether you're an administrator or a teacher, you're dealing with, I don't know, an intangible. <coughs> I, I think as teachers you would know that, that it's, it's really intangible. I taught them, I taught them trigonometry. Uh, you can pin that down. Lesson plan, objectives, blah, 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 etc. But change that sentence to, they learned trigonometry today. Now you're not going to be that confident, are you? Not as confident as you were when you said, I taught trigonometry today. So, what's, why not? Because the act of teaching is tangible. You do stuff, you know what you have to do. But the act of learning is intangible. 